Peggy's gonna just show us how to sort the glass, the difference between this aluminum and this aluminum. That's not aluminum. That's steel. The tin. That's steel. Yes. Steel. <laughs> so we steel, got by metal. The, the aluminum beverage cans have a different melting point from aluminum foil or aluminum foil trays or Vienna sausage aluminum cans or spam aluminum cans. Okay, so the others can be recycled as aluminum, but they just can't go with the iRecycle cans. That's why we we tell people you can only put aluminum beverage cans in the iRecycle bin. Of course, we get everything else, but then we have to sort through it. <coughs> this, on the other hand, is not aluminum. This is steel. Sometimes they call it bimetal. Sometimes they call it tin. But this will be recycled as scrap metal. Okay. Okay. The glass does not really get recycled on Guam. It ends up, we'll take it to the transfer station and <coughs> it will end up at Lazon, but they dump out the roll, the roll offs of glass and they crush it and they kind so it kind of stabilizes the active area. Okay, not necessarily the highest and best use, but at least it's reducing the volume and it's serving kind of a purpose. Um, so then all the plastics, there are seven different types of plastics that, there, that identifies the different types of resins. We can recycle plastics one and two on Guam. So that's, and you look for the recycling triangle, you look for the number one or two inside that triangle. Number one, you'll see the letters PET below it. Uh -huh. That stands for polyethylene terephthalate. Okay. That's the PET bottles. <coughs> then that's the beverage containers, water and juice and tea and soda and all that. Number two is high density polyethylene, HDPE, mm -hmm. and that's usually um, the larger containers that are usually opaque or colored like um, detergent or bleach or even um, some motor oils. Sometimes they're in number three vinyl, but sometimes they're in HDPE also. Mm. So. They, and you want the ones and twos uh, separate if you're separating? No, they don't need to be separate. Okay. They just, they can be but you just need to make sure that you're not putting styrofoam and saran wrap in and, with that. And, and all that other stuff. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the number one recyclable mistake people make here on island? Something they shouldn't be doing? Well, I think doing. because they think all plastics are recyclable. Okay. And they're not. And they, most people don't have any idea about the what? different types of plastics. Right. And one... One guy came up to me the other day and he said, so why don't they just make one type of plastic that we can recycle? And, and I said, well, you have to look at the, at the different functions, purposes, uses of, of the plastic. They have different properties. So you've got, you've got these different resins that are designed for containers for specific uses. Great. So that's why we're not going to have one type of of plastic that one size fits all because it just doesn't. We just and we really need to work on eliminating styrofoam, single-use styrofoam, and plastic bags. Great.